I'm about to be a um a ghetto girl. I gotta I gotta learn how to talk. How can I talk? It's your girl, you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. Dude. Well, this video is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm not here to bash anybody or make it seem like I'm trying to be a certain type of way. Entertain purposes only, okay? Just had to put that out there because you know some people gonna try and come for me, but I I'm just doing a video, I gotta look different. It's the only way to make me look different. Alright y'all, so my eyelashes coming off. I'm already done, so that's what I look like. My name is BB Shaquita. So yeah, uh, <coughs> where are you going today? Okay. Alright y'all, y'all ready? Let's go. Oh, here go my nails. Alright you guys. Welcome to my channel, Motosokas. Hey, it's your favorite unicorn in all of YouTube. Back with another highly requested video. When I say highly requested, I mean high heaven requested, okay? Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, text messages. Y'all wanted to hear me talk about this on my channel, so your wish is my command. Now, for the most part, I don't do videos about other YouTubers, but I did do a video about this specific family two months ago when they gave birth to their beautiful and healthy baby girl. And the only thing that they could talk about was the way that she looked and basically their disappointment in how she looked. That means, oh my gosh, my daughter has ugly eyes. When I say pretty eyes, I meant the term of green eyes. When I said, I wish you had pretty eyes, I didn't mean you have ugly eyes. The Shade Room reposted this, and this was a really big and heavy topic at the end of 2018 going into 2019. Like, I thought a lot of y'all got this out of your system, okay? And I don't care how many subscribers you have, what celebrity you are, what celebrity you're banging, child. No one is exempt from these hands when you do blackface. For those of you guys who don't know the Prince family, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't know them either. I just know them, like I said, from their previous colorist video, watching other people react to their colorism and racism, and this prank right here. So basically, they're a family channel, and they did, and what's her name? Um, Bianca. She wanted to prank her baby daddy or her husband. I don't know if they're married, child. I don't know. She wanted to prank her bae. So she decided to dress up in blackface. Now I do want to say shout out to my unicorns who sent me the screenshots because I refuse to watch that video. From the comments that I've seen, YouTube has allowed them to monetize this video. So they are getting paid by the thousands to run ads on this video. A shame and a scandal in the words of Juice. Bianca is biracial. She is half black. And I did see a lot of comments in the shade room. People saying, oh, she's black. She's black. You can't perpetuate blackface because you're black. You're black. She's black. She's black. All right. All right. All right. P pump your brakes, Becky. Pump your brakes. She and her husband has said some anti-black statements that is floating around YouTube child. Just type it in and you will find it. They both have said some anti-black things, some colorist things, some really ignorant things. So honestly, I'm not gonna use her half black card here, okay? I don't care if it was a prank. I don't care if it was a joke. She is perpetuating black face. She is also dressing up as a caricature. So this is how she sees what she calls ghetto girls. Dark skinned, long nails, colorful weaves, tacky. You know what I mean? Very caricature. <laughs> like why dark skin makeup? Like that's what's really pissing me off the most because I already know that this girl thinks that beauty is light skin and green eyes because she said it out her own goddamn mouth to her newborn baby. So I already know what she looks at and sees as beauty. So she already has a colorist mindset 
on top of that, you got the nerves to put on damn near my shade and call yourself BB Quisha, whatever the f Yo, let me calm down for this. But yes, I don't know how she talks in her regular everyday life, but she tried to put on a black scent and she really just sounded like a creepy old lady. Like, is that how you think black women sound? And then a lot of times it's like, when we talk about, oh, biracials are not black, they're biracials, you know, a lot of y'all want to fight and say, no, we're black, we're black, we're black. But then every chance that some of y'all get, it's, oh, those blacks act like that and black act like this and black act like that. So it's like always the, you want to be down when it's, when it's lit to be down, but when it's time to make fun of somebody, when it's time to be a caricature, when it's time to make a joke, oh, we the butt of the jokes. Now we're not the same no more. But what happened? I thought she was black, girl. So her husband gets in the shade room comments to defend her and says people don't like us, but yet they continue to watch our videos. That don't make any sense. The community is so dry that people literally is forced to create drama of some kind. Realize it or not, drama brings more attention. And I completely agree, which is why I did not watch the video. Okay, I watched the little clips on the shade room. I read the tweets. I read the DMs. Y'all ain't getting a view from me. This video is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm not here to bash anybody or make it seem like I'm trying to be a certain type of way. Entertainment purposes only, okay? Just had to put that out there because, you know, some people are going to try and come for me, but I, I'm just doing a video. I got to look different. It's the only way to make me look different. So let me get this straight. You have millions of followers and millions of dollars, and the only way for you to look different is for you to put on dark makeup for dark-skinned people nasty ass raggedy ass tacky ass clothes and put on a quote unquote black scent or a ghetto scent if you don't take your rat ass to party city and get creative child go to ricky's get some prosthetics like make yourself look older make yourself look younger hell make your ass look whiter if you if possible but don't go darker girl don't go there Dude. Oh my it covers gosh. unhappy thank god oh my god now from the clips that i saw whoever was doing her makeup was more excited about the dark makeup than she was she was kind of like oh i'm not feeling this or oh my god like this is really dark same shit different day with this girl okay now, as I said, a lot of people in the comments were defending her and someone said how can a black person do black face lol y'all reaching Beauty21x replied, she's not black, she's half black. She will never have to deal with inner racism, colorism, or negative stereotypes that darker skin women have to deal with. It's sad that ignorant black women like you don't see the issue. And I would have to agree. Again, it's about the privilege. Bianca has the privilege. Once her prank is done, once the cameras are turned off, she has the privilege to wash all of that dark makeup off. Okay, the privilege. Yet we have the honor, bitch. Okay, we have the honor to live in this beautiful dark skin, bitch. Yeah, you wash your shit down the drain. Okay, I'm gonna keep my melanin, period, poo. And though it is the highest honor, okay, that God can bless you with to be a highly melanated being, a lot of people in today's society, they don't see it that way. They see it as a hindrance. They see it as a costume. Um, they see it as a fetish. You know what I'm trying to say? So no, we don't play when it comes to blackface. We don't play when it comes to black fishing because y'all can't relate. When it's time to really be black. Oh, no, no, no. This is a costume. It was just a prank. When it's time to really be black. Oh, no, 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 no. My mother is white. When it's time to really be black, oh, no, 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 I, I got pretty eyes. I got the pretty eyes, and I got the good hair. You got, you got, you got bad hair. Okay. And I think that it's so interesting that African-American women are literally the only group of women that is literally forced, forced to share their culture by force with the rest of the world. Like I said in previous videos, like everyone else is allowed to build a dome over their shit, but African-American women just have to suck it up, stop hating, stop talking about it. Oh, you're just mad. Oh, you're just jealous. 
Oh, I'm jealous of you and, and y'all want to look like us. I'm confused. Now, a lot of you guys still DM me a lot of people on Instagram, especially who blackfish. And if you notice, I don't respond. I don't do videos about it anymore because it's only going to keep happening. You have to remember that you're it. You're it. And everybody wants to be it. But you got the juice. You got the sauce. The haters on your body shake them off. Young and May. Snap for us, snap for us. Now, but for real, Damien was right, y'all. Watching the videos of people that you don't like, that you don't agree with, that's only making their platform bigger. You're doing the reverse of what you really want to do. All we need is for one motherfucker to watch the video, post that shit on Twitter, and anybody else can watch it on Twitter. Okay? <laughs> But I want to know what you guys think of this prank. Y'all know what I just noticed? If you look in the left-hand corner, she used the image of a black girl with a big butt next to the word ghetto girl. You know what? Y'all let me know what y'all think of this prank. Do you think, listen, it's just a prank, it's all fun and games, or should we drag this girl by her little raggedy ponytail? Because I'm with both. Make sure you subscribe, like my channel, and I see you at the next one.